Hey guys, Hugh Shang here. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 lesson. We're going to be looking at Zerg today. And it's going to be a more of a freestyle video. I haven't been doing a lot of tutorials lately, and I want to get back into making a lot. But it actually takes a really long time to edit the videos. And so I figured I can do a freestyle one pretty quick here. Um, so what I want to talk about today is creating uh, your inject and your creep control groups. Basically queen management. I've been teaching a lot of students and queen management for whatever reason is uh, <laughs> really really hard for most Zerg players. And so basically we're just going to be looking at today how you set that up, how you move your queens uh, between the two control groups, and just kind of where you want to be putting your queens and stuff like that. So. Let's just play through a normal mid game. It's going to be a little bit sloppy of a build loader, but it doesn't really matter. Um, that's not the point. So play through this and queen management just in general is probably one of the most important skills you need to learn as like a new or mid tier Zerg player. If you don't have good queen, it, queen management, then you're basically going to struggle against any attack that comes your way. So. It's one of those skills that you should prioritize if you're below, let's say, diamond. And even if you're in diamond, you better make sure that this skill is your top priority. Uh, you know, if it's not good already. So, first two queens. Let's say we're playing ZBT here. We're playing against Terran because I think this is the matchup where it's the most imperative. So in this matchup, what we want to do is we want to have some creep queens. And those are also going to be acting as our defense queens. So we're going to have those on one hotkey. You can choose whichever hotkey you want. It doesn't really matter as long as it's easy for you to uh, to play with. And then we're going to have another hotkey for inject uh, queens. And the reason we need that other key is because we're going to be doing uh, the injects with the F key inject method. If you don't know what that is, I have a video on uh, Zerg mechanics. So you can check out that video. And that video is going to give you a better idea of how to do that inject method. But in order to do that method, we need a control group. So we're going to have that set up. And in the beginning of ZVT, we're going to make uh, three queens. And these are the inject queens for now. <clears throat> but I'm going to put these guys on the uh, creep spread hotkey. So these guys are going to be on the creeps or hockey. The reason is we're going to continuously be adding uh, the new queens to the creep spread hotkey. And if I make these guys on the inject hotkey, then I'm going to have to move them anyways. So I figure it's a little bit easier if you just put them on the creep right away. And we'll make the, you know, the last three queens that we make, we'll put those guys on the inject key. So these guys are going to come forward. I think I have a, a guide on this builder if you want to go learn this. If I don't, I should make one. <laughs> I'll check after. I'm pretty sure I do, though. So we're going to make our overlords. Oh, I actually missed one. Oops. Thought I made it. Okay. And now we're going to get our third queen here. And this we're also going to add to the creep spread uh, key. We're almost at the part where I think it's people start messing up. I think most people are good here. I think this is easy, right? For the most part. Let's do a creep spread of this guy. And I have these guys all in the same key. Um, I think some Zergs might do this differently, but I'm going to put them all in the same key. I have the creep being made. And I have these guys injecting. And I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to send them all to the front. So after the creep... Uh, it has been laid, he's going to come to the front. And after these guys have injected, which they already have, they're also going to come to the front. Actually, sorry, these guys need one more, um, one more inject. So the creep has been laid, and now we're going to inject these guys in a second. So uh, inject, 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 and then bring them over. And I'm making three more queens. There's a, you can do this a little bit tighter, actually, by uh, 
making this queen first, but this is this is the easier way to do it. And now we have three queens at the front. And we have these overlords in position. And it should be very easy now to defend the Hellenes, which are going to show up at like four minutes. So we have these queens defending. They're going to be spreading creep at the same time. And we have no queens on my hatcheries. We, we like we literally have no queens. So the idea here is the new queens that are about to pop are going to inject and then we're going to move those forward if we need to. So sometimes you need only six queens. Sometimes you need a lot more, but we're just going to rotate them forward. So let's say we want more queens. Let's say we want to make uh, three more queens after this. You're going to box and then you're going to add them to the uh, inject key. So you can see at the bottom here, I have one for inject and I have one for creep. And if you wanted to make more queens, <clears throat> let's say we're doing a later build. It's a pretty common way to do it. You would take these guys, bring them to the front, and then make uh, a new inject key. So I bring those two that already injected to the front. And now I have five on the creep spread slash defense key. And I have one on the inject key. Right? If you're waiting for these guys to finish and then bring them into defense, they're like a minute later. So it's it's not very uh, effective or efficient. It's a little bit more annoying with the control groups for sure. But if you get used to the alt key, then it's not as bad. Let me actually stop playing the build so I can show you this. So I, I reset it. I only have three on here now. And we have these guys on the uh, inject key. So if you want to bring them all together, so I have one for these guys, one for these guys. If you want to bring them all together, what you're going to do is you're going to select these guys and you're going to hold alt shift and the uh, creep spread hotkey. So for me, it's uh, seven, but you, you know, you can put it on like uh, tilde tab Q one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want and just go alt shift number and uh, and then you can bring them over. So if I go alt shift number, you can see I removed it from the uh, inject key and put them on the creep spread key. So now if I just hit the in or the creep spread key, it'll select all five and I can just move them forward. So very, very important to get super comfortable with alt shift number. And really important that you bring your queens that inject, that pop out, to the front. Okay, so that's that. That should help a little bit. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is the creep. Because what often happens is... I'll see people creep spreading like this. And then their queens are all over the place. And, you know, a bunch of uh, marines show up and they just kill their queens. Or, you know, some banshees come in here and snipe these guys that are all alone. But if your queens were together, then you wouldn't have this problem. So what you want to do is while you're creep spreading or like at the end of creep spreading, you want to hold shift and send them back. So it might look something like this. And then once you're done, you hold shift. And I would do it on the mini map, but I'll click over here just to show you is I would right click there. So it would look like this. Oops. And then I would hold shift and back on the minimap. That way, once they're done creep spreading, they're going to, uh, you know, come back to this location and they're not going to be at the front and, uh, you know, be at risk of getting killed by uh, Marines or Protoss units or whatever match you're playing. It doesn't really matter. Just pull them back like that um, and problem solved. And I think that's all of the uh, queen habits. I guess it's really important to mention that whenever you're working on stuff like this, you need to make sure you never do it any other way. Because the thing you're trying to do is develop good habits. And the thing with habits is if you do them wrong, you know, one time, <laughs> you, st you start to create another pathway in your brain where you're more likely to do that new pathway. And the more often you do the bad habit, the more likely you are to do the bad habit. It goes the same way with good habits though. So if you continuously do 
you know, something in this game one way, you're more likely to do it. And the more often you do it, the more likely it is to, uh, to happen in the uh, correct way. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely where a lot of people are going wrong is you, you know that there's a new habit you need to learn, like these queen, uh, you know, creep spread or injects or whatever, but it's easier to do it with the habit you've already developed, even though you know it's a bad habit. <laughs> so just make sure that you can kind of commit to learning these new habits over, let's say, winning your ladder games. And if you can do that, then these new habits won't take you very long to develop at all. Like you would easily learn what I just showed you in less than a week, maybe even a couple days if you're, you know, really adamant about it. So yeah, try these techniques. Hopefully I didn't go through it too, too fast. But if I did, make sure to ask some questions in the comments and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.